Hello YouTube, Joe Feedback for another video, and today, um, uh, this video is gonna be short, it's gonna be simple, it's gonna be just a topic, man, just a topic, uh, we're gonna discuss, does my two-way interior finisher build, that is currently 99 overall, all max badges, does it take skill? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you comment down below, I wanna hear your thoughts on this, uh, subscribe, comment, and like the video, man. I appreciate it. I'm gonna make this video before I go to work. So, go to work at 9 p.m. today. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And, yeah, see ya. Now, let me talk about does my build take skill. Let's, let's, let's compare it to league players, right? Because league players are currently the best players in the game. Don't say content creators, because content creators, just, they're good, but they're not that good compared to league players. League players, they know life the game. Like, you, you could clearly see a difference between content creators and league players. Content creators probably got like 2,000 wins, 200 losers. League players, though, they got about 4,000 wins, like 500 losers. So you could see, you could tell like league players with no lives. So we're going to take league players as a setting. Now, when I compare, when you compare me to other bigs in league, um, you can see a big difference between other bigs, other comp league bigs, and me. Me? As of now in league, I'm the best defensive big in the game. I've always been the def best defensive big for a while now in the league setting. So yeah, I would say I'm the best defensive big because of purely just stats alone. Uh, Basically, when it comes to stats, my build has the best defensive badges you can even get. Like I have, I have so many other badges compared to other bigs because other bigs, they put the stats into three. I don't need to do that. I could put my stats stat points into something else for bigs you gotta have 82.83 points to get the best shooting badges that is literally like 140 points or 160 points just going right in the nail like nigga is you can literally just see the difference so um that's one thing about my build it has the best defensive badges in the game best defensive stats in the game that's probably why i'm one of the best defensive bigs in the game because it literally just stats alone um defense though um defense in general takes it takes a little bit of iq to play defense especially for me um basically is the pushbacks right now defense is easy i'll be honest defense is way easier way easier for me um i hope that changes soon i don't think crap actually i'll say defense is iffy i hate crabs crabs bails people out pushbacks though pushbacks is literally just against slashes it needs to get removed honestly but yeah um uh, i can't take i can't say much about de the defense side of things so yeah i'm just gonna leave it right right there we can all agree that i'm with the best defensive base in the game so not really much from room for me to talk What we really here to talk about is the offense, though. What I do on off, as you all know, there's a story here. As you all know, I do not do shooting at all. Do not do shooting. I have 25, 2 point, 25, 3 point, 25 free throw. And you're and y'all are running like how? Oh, maybe he just does post control. No, my two way interior finisher does not have post control. It has 25 post control. Then here's the other question. Y'all will y'all probably ask yourselves, then what do you do? I lay up, I floater, and I dunk. And y'all might be saying, oh. That build is ass. Well, in the grand scheme of things, other bigs in the league does not like, they, they don't think my build is ass. They call it no skip. Because why? My two way interior finisher and my paint piece is way different from each other. My paint piece only has silver contact finish. My two way interior finisher has gold contact finish. And if you know, if you're a dunker, or you dunk the ball in August 2, silver and gold contact or two different badges gold contact is very consistent that's why i love it but yeah i guess now you can call me a dunk spammer but i wasn't a dunk spammer when my paint piece my paint piece yeah my paint piece it requires skill but like it was it's that build was actually bad i could see lead players calling that build trash because it was that was a really trash build compared to my two-way interior finisher but we're here to talk about my two-way interior finisher 
I'm just waiting until you finish her. It is currently right now one of the biggest threats in the league. People do not like facing against me. Why? Because it's just impossible to stop me in the pain. If you play up on if you play up high on me too much, that's a free layup. That's a free layup, honestly. Or a free reverse layup. If you play too low on me, I'm just gonna float her. I have Hall of Fame Pro Touch and I have Hall of Fame Teardropper. It's gonna go in. So if you if and I also have some consistency, so my board's bigger. So if if you want to just play down on me, that's a free float every time. Now, if you play the right amount of defense on me, I have gold contact for this shit. I'm going to dunk on you. <laughs> hey, there's just nothing you can do about it. Now, people could say what I do requires no skill. I disagree with that. Why? Because in the league setting, in the point game, for an inside big to work, you have to know how to space the floor. That is the first thing you need to learn how to do as an inside big. Space the floor. And for other people, they do not know how to space the set floor. So it's like, what else can you really do to benefit your team? Once you learn how to space the floor as an inside big, yeah, your gameplay will be much more smoother. Games will be more fun. You'll get the ball more. So on, so on. Uh, I have Hall of, I have Hall of Fame brick wall. So I normally do Key and Noah, pick and pops with multiple people, and that works because most of the time the guards be on the ground by this brick wall. So yeah, um. I'm sorry, I really don't know much to say here, but a lot of you will just say my build requires no skill. I'm not, s but it's like for other bigs, for I mean for league for league big men. Let me just say that for league bigs, skill in their opinion is having shooting in their build and abusing crabs. That is the skill, man. and I really just don't do it. abusing crabs and doing posts and doing insta face. That's the skill that people want to see. Well, my thing is, my job is just easy. I don't have to do all that just to score. I can drop 30 with, honestly, ease. <laughs> I'll be a better score than most base in leagues. But since I'm an inside big, um, since I'm an inside big, people don't think I'm a score when I'm actually a very good score. It's the inside big confuses people what my build is capable of. They don't understand how powerful all the faint tier, all the faint protest is combined together. They don't understand how OP go contact finisher is. They don't they don't understand how good self consistent finisher is. Like, it's just a lot of things, man. And since I hit legend three, I have extra bash points. Yeah, I put the bash points to silver. I put the bash points to silver and consistent finisher. But if I took off silver consistent finisher and I took off bronze relentless and bronze uh, bronze acrobat, I can do I can have gold lobs and finish. Just it's just my build's too OP. Um, not much for me to say for other bigs, for lean bigs. If you're watching this, womp womp. You just got to have to go at me. Um, that's all I really want to for you. Like I said, this video is not going. I just want to say, like, for my build to take skill, the player no, got to know. A league big can't just say, Joe, I want your build. But, okay, I'll give him my paint piece build. I'm, not, I'm never giving you my turn to for this. But all I got to do, once you max out that build, max balances and everything, if you don't know how to space the floor, you're effectively useless. Like, your teammates going to have to force it force pass you the ball that's how you says if they have to force you the force you the ball every time because you're just clawing pain you're effectively useless not much for me to say i know how to space the floor i know how to make my builds because they just i can space the floor with floaters and i can space the floor with floaters and screens and uh, they can't go at me so honestly it's a cope mechanical cope and i'm off you just can't go at me it's okay it's not everybody can go at me got that Giannis dude like steve and Adams dude i got the click propeller build you're not meant to go at me it is okay i got deandre jordan build prime deandre you just can't go at the white house but that being said i hope you guys will be able to make sure you stop to send me soon like the video make, let me know your thoughts does go con does go contact from this video Taste. That's what I hear y'all in. Peace out. The next video I'll upload is more. This will be all awesome. I'm going to do for this.